In this episode, you'll learn why most people think effort is more important in running, but how they could be very, very wrong. Maybe, maybe. How skill in running is equated to technique and efficiency, the importance of hard work alongside refining your skills and form, my super fun categories of sports versus competition versus activities. It's a wild theory, but hang in there. It's pretty fun. And a bunch more. Let's go. I will not argue about effort in endurance sports. You got to try hard sometimes. And as he alluded to, swimming is all skill, but knowing the majority of our audience, runners, maybe a couple of cyclists sprinkled in there, and yeah, you can just go hard. But let's pause and take a look at what skill-based training could look like. The drills exist for a reason. So when you're warming up and doing your A, B, C skips, your lunges and your hops and your plyometrics, those all, sure, might just seem like warm-ups, which, if we're honest, majority of runners, yes, I'm talking to you, probably skip the warm-ups and just figure, eh, hey, I'll lean into it. Probably don't do the cool-downs until you get injured. But if we focus on the skills, if we focus on getting those high knees, if we focus on doing the footwork stuff, if we focus on pedaling drills, but if we focus on those skills that you hear in videos just like this one or from whatever outlet, probably your coach, telling you that, yeah, you got to work on some of these finer points to take your running to the next level. Sure, sure, you can gut it out and you can just work harder, bro, but you don't always have to. And to stay on the theme of basketball for just another moment, Look at some of the more successful teams in the 90s, 2000s, and the 10s. While these teams, sure, you had explosive players that were putting in great effort, but it was mostly about the fundamentals, and those are skills that have to be developed. The bounce pass, the pick and roll, the screens, those are all the little skills for that sport, and now we can translate into the skills in endurance sports, whether that is working on the quick feet, working on your uh, strides, and working on your skips. The more focus you put on those skills, the faster your running is gonna progress. All right, so I'm gonna read some notes on my phone, so excuse me if I'm not giving you the direct eye contact, but this is super nuanced and very expansive and things can get a bit in the weeds. I can go on some rants, so I wanna make sure I stay focused. So let's run this through two filters. The first filter is gonna be for amateurs and the second filter is gonna be for pros. And with this first filter, amateurs, they can muscle their way with effort to running decent times. So you can, oh, I'm gonna run really. Swimming, you can't muscle your way through swimming. So that's the interesting part. Gotta have good form. So swimming is very skill-based. We'll talk about that in a second. But again, you can you know, try really hard, you can push through and you can get decent times. You cannot do that as a pro. Like once you get to a certain level, other people are gonna have much better form, much better efficiency, much better economy, and they're gonna be able to skill their way to the 1% better than you and beat you. And the same can be said for basketball, or it can't be. You can't muscle your way through basketball. You can't be really big and strong. You can't be the tallest person. To get to the higher levels, you have to have crazy amounts of skill for basketball. I'd even say tennis is up there. This is not knocking pro runners. This is mostly an amateur runners, and I'm myself included. Uh, they are high skilled when it comes to running. and. It's it's a thing that they work on with form, with so many of the 1% variables that they need to get right. So I feel like at the pro level, it's a combination of skill and for effort, but at the amateur level, it's like 80%, 90% effort. And that extra 10%, they don't even work on the skills. Like I wish more people would do plyometrics and form drills and even go into the gym and just think about their form like swimmers do. And like, you know, a pitcher does in baseball, like someone shooting a basketball. Think about it like that, like reps, like you can get better form, which makes you more efficient and more economical, makes you run better. But a lot of people don't. So this is my, you know, plea, please think about that. But if you think about that sport as more of a skill-based, thing, activity, you will get better. It takes a long time, but you will get better if you do small gains, you do the drills a few times a week, week on week, month on month, compounds, year on year, you will become better. If you wanna learn more about this topic, we went into further detail, you should go and check that out right here. 